Welcome everyone to the Trademo Show with Matthias and Sebastian. Today, Hello. with a big topic, North Korea has launched another rocket over Japan. And um, yeah, but this time everything is different in the markets, Matthias. Yeah, nobody cares about it. So this is pretty, pretty weird. So the Japanese yen, the gold, all the safe havens doesn't yeah. react any. Yeah, let's let's take a quick look at those. Um, so here we have dollar against the yen, and you can see that the 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 support and resistance level that we discussed yesterday, like the the level that keeps becoming um, keeps switching between support and resistance, is um, yeah is again the at the center of this, and um, basically we had a short reaction towards uh, yen strength yesterday and mm -hmm. now the complete reversal so it's as it's as if the market doesn't see this as any escalation of the north korea crisis but rather simply a continue uh, some yeah continued noise that doesn't lead to anything that's mm -hmm. what the market is saying to us here yes. you can see okay. this also in gold so if you take a look at the gold price, uh, maybe let's go down to the four hour chart. Mm -hmm. um, there we can see that yesterday initial reaction, it went, uh, let's maybe go onto the hourly chart even. So yesterday initial reaction was a strengthening of the gold price. And here on our demo account, I went long on gold in that situation, thinking that we would see some um, yeah, pressure for stronger gold prices here, considering that we already saw quite some pullback from mm -hmm. uh, 1,355 or almost 1,360 uh, down to 1,320. And uh, yeah, for me, this is, uh, I didn't anticipate this. I don't know, yeah, how about you? Yeah, sorry. Yeah, I'm really concerned about this because uh, gold is a safe haven, and this is a very, very bad, um, yeah, event we had with the rocket of, uh, over Japan, and nobody cares. Nobody wants to buy gold. So, yeah, this is, uh, I, yeah, I'm, I'm really, really uh, curious about this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Do you have any forecast? Like, what would you do? If you are invested right now in stocks and at the same time in gold as a hedge, and now, yeah, the stocks are becoming weaker on this news, but gold mm -hmm. is not becoming stronger. Yeah, in general, it is a very, very uh, strong sign for for stocks uh, because uh, stocks are not falling. Um, yeah, not not intensely, but uh, a little bit. Yeah, but but I would expect much more, and in gold. Indeed, it is the the, the cut report, so the commitment of sellers report, um, that the commercials are very very short positioned. So they don't care about uh, all this. And yeah, it seems so that gold is is more on the short side than to the the long side. So also in the medium term, you rather think it's gonna see downward pressure. Yeah, no, this is just what the COD report says. So, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, but the extreme positioning in the COD report can also be a reversal signal. Yes, but mm, regarding the commercials, it's, mm. it's, it's huge. More the, yeah. Yeah. Um, no, maybe you can explain a little bit more for those people that are new to COD reports. What does COD mean? And Yeah, maybe this is a topic make it that a special, uh, not so easy to explain yeah. in a very short period. But, but just very quickly, commitment of traders, it's basically you, um, the traders that are big enough to have to report their positions, the professional companies, the professional traders, um, mm -hmm. they uh, are mm -hmm. categorized yeah, um, and their positions are made public. And so mm -hmm. you can see what how they are positioned. And at the moment, Matthias says that is rather they are rather positioned short. Yeah, the, the, net position is, the net position is short and it's the biggest short position during the last six months. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, let's see if we see some some profit taking on the chart because if it was taken up here in the 1350 area, mm -hmm. then I'm not sure if those people are going to go into the weekend um, considering that Trump hasn't replied yet. He hasn't tweeted yet. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I would be careful with a gold short over such a weekend. So I'm I'm curious how how this will evolve. Okay, and um 
then last but not least, let's take a look at the Bitcoin price. Bitcoin in such a situation, um, at least the Bitcoin enthusiasts expect Bitcoin to behave a bit more like gold, um, which it basically has in that it hasn't <laughs> become a safe haven in this situation. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, here we just simply see now the second Chinese exchange has announced that they are closing their that they are closing down the Bitcoin business. And um, so the two largest Bitcoin exchanges in China closing down end of this month. Um, most of the Bitcoin volume comes from China, as far as I know. And um, now we are at this big level here, 3000 would be a big level. If that is breached, then anything mm. is possible. Um, yes. Then we can go down to 2000 as the next big level and 1000 as the one after that. Mm -hmm. and once we have lost the trust to 1000 then i don't know if bitcoin can remain the strongest um of the of the currencies but also the other ones have uh, considerably lost value ethereum or ether litecoin it's generally a very very weak period for for cryptocurrencies and our yesterday's guest um yeah suggested or told us so maybe this is not a bottom so don't catch the falling knife um yep. yeah and he was right yeah rudolf was right and um here you can see our open positions on this demo account um our bitcoin short position is of course hugely profitable through this behavior of seventy thousand dollars plus there um yeah let's see how the gold position evolves like i said um Maybe we see some some rally before the weekend, but let's see. No, mm -hmm. no promise there. <laughs> okay, yeah. Then if you have any questions, any comments, um, any suggestions for future shows, please just send us an email to support at tradeemo.com and um, yeah, send us a comment in the in the show notes. Okay. okay. Thank you very much, guys. Yeah. Have, a have a nice great weekend. weekend. Bye. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.